We now return to your regularly scheduled wink. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. What the fuck was I? Oh God. Like I knew the last stream was a lot of cutscenes, but I'm pretty sure we just stepped into a boss fight. Or an immediate cutscene explosion? Soon, we might very well learn the truth behind Shion's thorns. As well as my own past. I have to be ready to face anything. But whatever happens. I guess we're going right off rip. I'm determined to save Shion and Dana. Nothing I learned can change that. In we go. Menencia. No, hello. It's Tales of Our Eyes. Hold up, you guys. What is it? I want to look through that room over there. I'm curious what we'll find. That's the room you visited in your past, right? Sure. We can check it out. Hopefully, the story explosion will be short today? I can't imagine that would be the case, though. This looks like some kind of research facility. The laboratory secreted away in the Forbidden Zone. Why am I past being surprised at this point? Looks pretty deserted. Let's check it out. It might give us a new lead. Hello, Magic. Or hello, Skit Magic. Skit, how are you, sir? How are Skit you doing this Skit Fine Skit Day Skit? <laughs> the people of Lenigus. Hello, Magic. Forbidden Zone is the stuff of dreams. Skit. Yet here I am. Standing within its hallowed halls. It's off limits even for lords, then? Talk about an exclusive club. Being exclusive is one thing, but how many important facilities let in only the Sovereign? Doesn't that seem a little strange? Strange doesn't cover it. If it was only one room, maybe. But a place on this scale? How do they keep it from falling into ruin? Whoever the ruin. Sovereign is, they can't manage the upkeep of this whole place themselves. Did no one ever talk about it when you were growing up? No, not that I can remember. Then again, sovereigns and forbidden zones weren't exactly breakfast table conversations. The forbidden zone is a hallowed place, at one with the sovereign's authority, grounds of the one true ruler who presides over all Renans. That is what we believed this place to be. No, what we were made to believe it was. But now, it is finally time to discover this area's true purpose and why it was kept hidden behind the scenes for so long. Welcome to the lore dump. Also, I recommend reading the terminals in this room that give some info. I will read up to a point I can no longer do so. Stomach to do so. Also, how are you this fine Friday? It's the weekend. It's the end of the week. It's time to fucking party. An operating table. Many subjects undoubtedly never came back alive from their operations on this. Hmm. I think I can make this work. So my guess, Rena is completely devoid or destroyed or... It's garbage. All of the Renans live on Linigus. Um, the Sovereign well, has been keeping this a secret. It's a huge it? secret. And they're These siphoning are Dana's records, power to keep Linigus afloat. Memes of them, dating back hundreds of years. Let's see. Ordered a, a new PC today. Being Dope! Capable of controlling Dan and astral energy, so as to convert its molecular and elemental makeup. The creation of a governing central figure, taking the form of a Danon. Code name Sovereign. Sovereign. Wait, there's more. Research into utilizing force field crystals for the purpose of stable astral energy containment. That must be the master course. With all this raw data, there's bound to be records here somewhere about the Maiden and the Lords, too. About the Lords? Why would they be on there? Think about it. 
The Lord's crests are clearly of a piece with those of both the Sovereign and the Maiden. Not to mention the fact that the contenders to the crown are selected from otherwise regular Renan citizens. In other words, it may be that all Renans are unwittingly being made subject to some kind of... grand scheme. What about the Sovereign? Does it say anything else? Where do I start? All I've read so far is the headlines. There's so much here. To sift through all of it would require specialized... Wait. What is it? Did you find something? It's a list of names, with the title, Test Subjects, Sovereign. It's your call. Read it. There must be dozens of test subjects listed here. Hundreds, even. All of them failures. Wait, I think I've found one that was successful. Alfin. Test Subject number 1273. Ethnicity, N.A. Unique Adjustment Index, Generation... N.A. Given name, Alfin. <laughs> Alfinu. <laughs> They've re-engineered me. Right here in this lab. Alfin. It's fine, really. What about the others? Was I the only one? Test subject number 10105. Ethnicity, N.A. Unique adjustment index, generation, N.A. Given name, Volron. Volron? But that means... He's only sovereign because someone made him that way, too. He's the last one. In three centuries worth of records, you and Volron are the only two subjects on whom the experiment was a success. <laughs> when do I get sweet superpowers? But what about the winners of the crown contests? Does this mean that none of them were ever crowned sovereign after all? Upon victory, the sovereign shall return to Rena and rule over Rena and Lenegus combined. When a new sovereign is decided, the outgoing monarch shall relinquish their post and live out the rest of their days on Rena. So we were told. But according to these records, there have only ever been two sovereigns, neither of whom had anything to do with the crown contest. It's all lies, including the part about the sovereign residing in Rena. The crown contest was never about deciding a new ruler. It must always have been devised for some other purpose. But even supposing that's true, someone must have been in charge for the past three centuries, right? If it wasn't the Sovereign, then who was it? Robot! Crown contests have been held this whole time, in spite of the fact that there was already a Sovereign. Me. Meaning that for the past 300 years, someone out there has to have been maintaining that lie. The same person I'm willing to bet is behind all this. The Red Woman? It's possible. But that doesn't necessarily mean she's the mastermind behind this scheme. She could be working for someone else. Someone back on the Renan homeworld. Either way, it's fair to say she's definitely involved somehow. What about the data records? Is there no other information that could help us? Not that I can see. Just file upon file of experiment results. There's nothing here about who's behind all this, or what their endgame is, unfortunately. I've barely managed to scratch the surface, mind you. You won't be able to read through it all, but you're welcome to take a look through what you can, while we're here. I'll do that. Oh, God. Why is it a surprise that Alfin so this is, where Alfin is became sovereign. sovereign? And Volron as well. The significance of this location would suggest... Hey, it looks like the terminals in here turned on too. We should look through them. They might contain valuable information. I think it was less like the thing we already know and more about the confirmation that he was bioengineered 
and not like, oh, they unlocked some hidden thing deep inside me. No, they messed with his structure. Uh, Linigus, a large scale astral energy converter that primarily converts the elemental com composition of Dana's astral energy and transmits it to Rena. Activation and control of astral energy conversion is achieved by placing the Sovereign, Maiden, and Renis Alma within the central core of Linigus. It is comprised of classified and essential personnel, uh, personnel residential zones around a large conduit, along with a defensive layer surrounding them. This outer layer is deployed upon activation, unlocking the central conduit while simultaneously functioning as a stabilization mechanism. Due to its design, deployment of the outer layer is expected to cause damage to residential zones. Or, however, because that only takes place during the final stage of the spirit channeling ceremony, no contingency plan to address said damage is needed. Until that phase, Linigus serves as a central base of operations for management and execution of the crown contest on Dana. Warning. Any personnel with level 3 authority or lower is strictly forbidden from the classified zone. Any violators will be immediately executed. Oh god. The Detachable Harvester, a massive spirit vessel placed on Dana for the spirit channeling ceremony. It serves as the tip of Linigus's conduit from which it separates. Upon landing in Dan and Waters, it extends two sets of conduit or conducting pathways. The vertical pathways connect to the center of Dana. Meanwhile, the horizontal pathways proceed to envelop the entire surface. Once activated, it links to the biological spirit vessels placed in each realm, efficiently harvesting the planet's astral energy in mass. The accumulated energy is then transmitted to Rena via Linigus. Because construction and adjustment take place in the Forbidden Zone's regulator area, Linigus's outer layer must be deployed prior to launch. Intended to function semi-autonomously, only maintenance personnel are expected to manually interface with it when necessary. No other personnel is required for it to function. Addendum 1. Detachable Harvester 1 was lost on Dana after exploding due to the rampancy exhibited by the Sovereign. Detachable Harvester 2's landing point will remain the same as that of the previous model. This is due to the explosion of the previous model, which altered the planetary, or planetary topography, enabling easier connection to the center of Dana. What the fuck? There's a crater out there that reached the core of the planet? A device covering the wearer's whole face that restricts their mental activity. It was developed for the purpose of pacifying prisoners. That was interesting to say. Medical applications are also recognized, particularly as a means of preventing patients from sustaining mental trauma. However, doing so is not recommended, as prolonged use of the device carries the risk of inducing a number of adverse side effects. Addendum. Due to the loss of production facilities incurred from the partial destruction of Linigus, additional devices will no longer be manufactured. Brainwashing. After receiving reports of a robust new form of rule emerging from Dana's water realm, a study was commissioned to investigate the matter in depth. The system is unique in that it elevates only the Lord as a supreme authority while relegating both Renans and Danans alike to enslavement. Tess Sub- oh, Volron serves as the realm's current lord, and has achieved this or this without you- I'm sorry, let me retry that. Volron serves as the realm's current lord, and has achieved this without the use of any special powers, drugs, or special devices. Rather, it has done so by sheer governance. Given this method's ex effectiveness at population control, monitoring of the situation will continue. Addendum. Collapse of cognitive faculty facilities. Oh yes, uh, cognitive facilities via extreme mental repression rooted in violence and fear has proven to be key to this style of rule. Once a subject loses its autonomy, they become desensitized to fear and subsequently cease to prioritize even their own personal safety. Though such a state is ill-suited for commanding officers, it remains an effective way to cultivate disposable infantry and slaves for manual labor. Soldiers too. Or addendum to, sorry. Soldiers in Linigus who have undergone this treatment will be asked to secure classified sectors as a trial. The results will be monitored. Within the past couple years, probably they updated that, yeah. Only two sovereigns in over 300 years. So why has the experiment only succeeded twice in all this time? And if that's the case, why keep on doing it? Was there really no other way? 
Or could there be some other reason? Dohalim. Alternatively, <laughs> what's the point of a sovereign? Uh, forgive me. Alfin. Uh, I'm fine. I'm just a little shaken, that's all. I knew what I was already, so it's not like it's a surprise or anything. Look, he even but says it's not a surprise. It's strange. I've got all this rage inside of me, but I don't even know who it's for. I'm scared that I'll put a face to it, just to have someone to blame. If that were to happen, then I... No. Then we'd help you fight it, before you ever got that far. <sighs> Wouldn't we, everyone? Yeah. We wouldn't just sit by and watch you spiral out of control. I That's would. right. No good can come from being consumed by hatred. If you ever start to lose your way, you can count on us to guide you back, to remind you where home is. And I would be happy to lend an attentive ear, should you ever have need. <sighs> Thank you, everyone. <sighs> I think I'll be okay now. I like how everyone said some shit and Dohalim is like, and I'm here too. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Alright, what do we got? Lords. So basically, the Red Woman discussed the Sovereign, Otteress, Astral Energy, play coin. Everybody gets a free play coin every time... Rinwell says Astral Energy. Each crown contest, five of the best qualified members of the Renin populace are chosen to act as lords, vying to serve as the next sovereign. During their tenure, they are granted level three authority as well as one of five elemental realms to administer and its corresponding master core. They are also assigned an ID crest indicating their designated element. The selection process is based only on astral artistry and physical and mental aptitude. Other variables, such as age, have no bearing whatsoever. Because only the strongest go on to become lords, the position itself does not inherently make an individual any stronger. It should be noted, however, that lords are not the only individuals capable of drawing out the Master Corps' power. All Renans must take part in the selection process, and acceptance of the position is mandatory. It is not allowed for those deemed suitable to decline. Furthermore, in the event that an acting lord is incapacitated and can no longer serve in their position, a replacement must quickly be prepared. I mean, we knew all that. That was just a confirmation. Inflation's gonna be an issue? Nah. <laughs> I've come up with an idea for every time the play coin is invoked to start a poll. Not a poll, but like a, a, a prediction about how long it'll take me to solve a puzzle or whether I'll need help or something like that. But I haven't narrowed that down. It's a little a little fluctuating, I guess, of an idea. So it's hard to, to really rivet that shit down. But at the rate, I'll be playing puzzle games, apparently. Which, so I say that knowing full well I have Final Fantasy on the docket and everything's gone to shit. The following is a report on the success, or second successful case of the Sovereign Test ex Subject Experimentation. Blech. Volron, uh, although Subject possesses high latent potential, it exhibits significant mental instability along with a strong distaste for following orders. As such, the risk it poses surpass even though... Uh, I'm sorry, as such, the risks it poses surpass even those of the last... Successful subject. Uh, this is going to be a day of reading. Itself a failure, and is therefore under consideration for disposal. Addendum. This is the first successful case in 300 years. Previously mentioned risk factors are now mitigated due to established control protocols. Subject is to be evaluated under the assumption that Plan 2 will proceed and will be dispatched to Dana under the guise of serving as a lord. Okay. So, it worked, and then they just sent him that way to get him out of their fucking hair to monitor him. Master Cores are instruments of power containing astral energy that belong to one of the six elements. Five of these Master Cores, those of Earth, Water, Wind, Fire, and Light, are loaned to Renan Lords at the time of the Crown Contest. Only the Dark Master Cores maintained inside the Forbidden Zone until the Renan's Alma is ready to be reformed, its existence kept top secret. Underneath the Master Core's spherical outer layer is a forceful crystal used for the purpose of astral energy containment and stabilization. Inside the force field, astral energy is stored in a dormant state. For the duration of their tenure, 
each lord competes in the crown contest to amass their allotted type of astral energy. In the event of an emergency, each lord may be allowed to withdraw from their respective stock of astral energy as necessary. Oh, so, like, they, all, they can all just take the cord and do the thing. However, the extent allowed is determined based on their own individual strength. Addendum 1. Design flaws have been discovered in how the Renis Almas materializes. Be advised that active Master Cores may resonate with other Master Cores located in close proximity and become unstable. Addendum 2. Due to successful regeneration of the Renis Alma, Master Cores will cease to be deployed and the Crown Contest will be permanently halted. Uh... So they literally just did this shit. Yeah. That's... I had to reread that again. It's due to successful regeneration, that's like, that literally just happened. Spirit cores are N-terminals used for the collection of astral energy. When embedded in the biological subject, it establishes connections throughout its body. These connections are used to amass astral energy generated from physical activity, which is then emitted from the host itself. Because the emitted energy is prone to diffuse, the host must be placed within range of a spirit vessel for the energy to be collected. This, er, this means that Danons must be employed to harvest the astral energy for the purpose of the crown contest. Given the difficulty in producing them, it is advised that spirit cores be retrieved from host bodies and reused upon their death. Damn. Spirit cores can also be embedded in Zoogles to control them via astral arts. Addendum. Increased physical load on the host body tends to produce increased astral energy emissions. Okay. A final confirmation of ideal workload to impose on host bodies without inducing death for maximum astral energy yields is still pending. That was a bad time to take a breath during that, but whatever. So, work hard. And smart. But mostly hard. Yeah, that was a bit to read. Uh, it gave some interesting information. Uh, a bit of it was mm, stuff we already knew, but it, it gave some interesting information. Mm. Okay, so, uh, yeah, added three follower motes. The Otter S, you can type that two ways now. It is both on Frank, uh, Better Twitch, I'm sorry, Better Twitch and as a follower mote. And I do that because I didn't want to delete it from better twitch tv because apparently someone out there is actually using it on their own channel and more fucking power to them and i didn't want to delete it and have them lose it because i don't know i i find that awesome so Doelim had mentioned he has no idea if the people in lunagus know about what happens on dana shows that at least someone knows exactly what's happening oh yeah i mean obviously it's not like this is all automated that's the- the woman in red is clearly doing some shit. But the average... Renin... I- I still think Renin- Renna is just completely devoid of anything. I think they harvested that planet to death. A room unchanged over three centuries. It's like time itself had stopped here. But yeah, we got that new play coin follower emote. It is... It looks perfect for the amount of effort that was put into it. I love it. And, uh, yeah, if you have an idea for an emote, let me know and I'll see what I can scrounge out. I ain't going, you know, no artist or anything like that, but we'll see what I can have. It's equipment for monitoring subjects. It probably has a failure disposal mechanism as well. need a goo brain emote? I know we do. I don't know how to make it happen though. Like conceptually, it's not there. I need something for the goo. Mayori, I... I... Don't talk. I have to do this. I gave you my word that I'd help you return to Dana. 
The next time you open your eyes, you'll be home. But you... My place is here with my people. I still have a duty to fulfill. I'm sorry for what you've endured. Rena never should have dragged you into this. It's not your burden to bear. But... The mask contains a sedative. It should keep your mind from tearing itself apart any further. Let yourself go to sleep. This should help with the pain. Morphine, straight to the forehead. Time to go, Elfin. Farewell. His injuries are worse than I thought. Short-term treatment isn't going to cut it. I'll have to switch the healing pod to long-term hibernation mode. The chance of surviving hibernation's less than 10%? And worse, long-term use of the mask carries a high risk of damaging his mind and nervous system. But... Ugh. Head back. Lenigus will be nothing but ashes, and this starship along with it. I don't know if I can fulfill my promise to you, Alfin. But if. If doing this will grant you even the slightest chance, I have to try. I hope it's enough. Please, live for me, Alfin. That dude is a mystery? Which dude? Also, I guess I'll check you up a sec. It must have been from when Naori helped Alfin escape Lenigus. She sure went above and beyond the call of duty. Even with Lenigus crumbling down around her, she chose to stay put with her people. So that's why you lost your memories and sense of pain, and why you were asleep for that whole time. It was all the result of one agonizing decision Naori made to save your life. Yeah. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't even be alive today. I owe her everything. More than I could ever hope to repay. Now that you know how she felt, how do you plan on honoring her wishes? She kept her promise. If the Renan people she fought so desperately to protect are at risk from a malevolent force, then I owe it to her to carry on her fight. Naori was the one who put that mask on me, and made me Iron Mask. She did it to prevent your soul from tearing itself apart. The she soul is a concept. And sense of pain as a result. But more than anything, she wanted you to survive. And you did. Hmm. Yeah, which dude is a mystery? Also, have you seen that dog getting morphine? Is that a YouTube video or something? Because I would watch that. <laughs> I love watching dogs, like, waking up from. Like, n not naps, but you know, when they go to the vet, they get drugged up and they get all high and shit like that, and then they just see him. <laughs> I love that shit. It's in stream related? Dope. How you doing, Tenka? How's your Friday treating you, bud? Better than last night. Oh, well, that's good. And we're in. Twin World. Oh, look at this over-designed over shithole. We've seen this in one of Naori's memories. It's the spirit channeling ceremony place. After 300 years, this is where it was held. The spirit channeling ceremony. This is where the Renis Alma was. 
So this is the place where you and Naori... The Renis Alma isn't here now. Nor is the Red Woman, it seems. I know it's difficult, Alfin, but there will be time to dwell on the past later. For now, we need to keep moving. Come on. What, they just know that's what they need to do? What the fuck? <gasps> Naori? What is this? Is it the work of Dana's will again? It's been a year since the ceremony. That day, I shut away inside of myself the power that caused Elfin to lose control. Since then, my visions of the future have grown more and more fearsome. Is this another memory? No, it's different this time. It's like she's speaking directly to us. <sighs> What we did back then. Not so much as a day passes when I don't think about it. About what was done to us. All in the name of a ceremony. The purpose of which we were never That's even what told. I'm waiting for. I want to know why they need a goddamn a sovereign. sovereign. They linked Elfin's consciousness to Lenigus itself. The Renis Alma was intended to control his power. Lest anything should slip through its cracks. That day, as Maiden, my role was to temper his power. I was meant to guide it forth, and give shape to the strength inside of him. Linked to Lenigus itself? But then, everything that's been happening... But that power showed me a vision. A vision of oblivion. When I realized that vision was a prophecy of the apocalypse we were about to unleash, I couldn't go through with it. But without a maiden, the ceremony was doomed. Alfin lashed out, his consciousness no longer his own. I did what I could. Using my abilities as the maiden, I tried to seal that power away inside of me. But it was too late. Lanigus had already been brought to its knees. Thousands upon thousands of lives so cruelly snuffed out. All because of me. Because of what I had done. With the destructive force now slumbering inside of me, I knew I had to find a way to dispose of it. Anything to make up for my failure. But I didn't know how. Especially since that power was astral energy itself. In which case, ironically enough, the Renis Alma seemed to be my best bet. That, at least, would hold the astral energy dormant. Assuming that no malevolent third party got to it first. With the Sovereign and Maiden's combined power, Perhaps I could shift the chaotic energy inside me into the Renis Alma instead. That's what I hoped, but alas, it was not to be. The Renis Alma was lost, and Alfin the Sovereign was in a starship bound for Dana. My only choice was to seal away the destructive force inside of me using my powers as the Maiden, to buy the world what little time I could. The time needed for a new Renis Alma to be crafted, and for a new Sovereign to appear. Even if by doing so, it meant I would be passing the curse onto my descendants as well. Please, forgive me. I never meant to burden the future world with this threat, too. I only wish that there was something more I could have done. Wait, you can't just... Maybe the thorns are specific to Shion? Naori. <sighs> Maybe her thing that was different? just now. Was it directly from Naori? 
Or was it the Danon voice speaking through her? What up, no? Uh, neat. She became Naori. <laughs> All right. What? <laughs> clothes beam! And I wore during the ceremony three centuries ago. So you're saying this is the maiden's outfit? That's right. These clothes are designed to resonate with the sovereign and maiden's abilities. They focus and enhance them. Do I get and superpowers? They now because. Naori must have left them here for the new sovereign and maiden, knowing the day would come when they would need them in their fight against the thorns. These outfits are directly linked to the answers we've been chasing this whole time. If they're here, it must mean it was Naori's will for us to find those answers as well. Locating the Renis Alma would allow us to neutralize the dark astral energy inside Xion, thereby silencing her thorns. Is that what Naori's suggesting? It makes sense. After all, Master Cores and Spirit Vessels are both able to prevent the astral energy inside them from developing sentience. By that logic, it would stand to reason that the Renis Alma would have the same ability on a larger scale. We have a Maiden and Sovereign. Now all we need is the Renis Alma, and we'll finally be able to free you of your thorns. Shion. It's possible? You really think so? I do. We can rid you of your thorns and stop the world from falling to oblivion. However, the spirit channeling ceremony already failed once. Even if our goal is different this time, we can't be sure the same thing won't happen again. We should take care not to be too optimistic. You're right. It's the barest sliver of a chance. But if there's even the slightest hope it can work, I'm willing to stake everything I've got on it. I... I know it's too early to let myself feel relieved, but... I just can't seem to help it. Just hearing there's the slightest chance, even though I know the world's still in great peril. It's selfish of me, I know, but... but still... No, it isn't! You found hope to believe in. It'd be strange if you weren't over the moon about it. Rinwell's right. We can rid you of your curse and still save the world at the same time. Thank you. Naori entrusted us with the fate of all humanity. Now, it's up to us to prove that trust was well placed. Starting with a little game called Hunt the Renis Alma. Yeah, we've come all this way. Now we just need to search Lenigus and Rena until we find it. Yeah, we can protect the world and save Xion at the same time. I too shall lend my services. My knowledge of Renan lore is bound to be a useful asset. And they say modesty is dead. <laughs> Miracles just seem to follow wherever you go, huh? How do you know it's me they're following? We're all in this together, Xion. You included. Now let's get moving, shall we? Last I heard, we had an apocalypse to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Naori. Once again, everyone all excited and wanting to help Dohalim, and I'm here too. So Naori sealed away the power that made me lose control of myself. She stopped my rampage and saved my life. But then, that power she'd sealed away was passed down to you. I'm so sorry, Xion. It's my fault that you're cursed. You're wrong. What happened to you was because of the ceremony and Naori's attempt to stop Oblivion. You paid a heavy price for it and then fell asleep for 300 years. The reason you lost your memories is the reason for your curse. The, the thorns. thorns. It all leads back to them. But once they're gone, we can finally put an end to all this. When my thorns are gone, 
I never dared to dream that such a thing could be possible. No, the truth is, I think maybe I've always been dreaming about a life without my thorns. The touch of my family, or playing with my friends, holding hands with Rinwell, or giving Law a deserved smack, embracing everyone, all the normal things that people do together. I always wished I could experience them for myself and finally know what they were like. Is it really okay for me to believe it can happen? I'm so scared of getting my hopes up. What if it doesn't work out in the end and... That's not going to happen. I'm here to make sure it won't. Forget fate or destiny or anything else. We're going to live... <sighs> a normal life. There are a lot of things you still want to do, right? Yeah. You're right. It's such a strange feeling. I know that we've still got plenty of fighting up ahead. And it's for my sake. So I can live. You're worth fighting for. I believe you, Alfin. Good. I'll keep on fighting. For as long as it takes. Until our future is finally in our hands. Jesus. Hey! Uh, latest mate. That's a title. Latest maiden. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Revitalize all allies HP. CP 80. God damn. Uh, the Sedale Arth Arthalis sword given to the chosen sovereign that draws out all the latent power so as to carry out the spirit channeling ceremony in the Galm Arthalis and the Les Piarquis. And a skit that I will watch shortly. Uh, it's a full heal for everyone at 80 CP. Seems unnecessary. Okay, first things that that, that, that is currently happening. Uh, remove. Neat. She didn't get a gun, though. She should have got a gun. <laughs> All right, second thing that's happening. She's not Shion if she doesn't have a big ass ponytail. Also, it's still poofy in the ass too. What the shit? She doesn't need a big poofy ass. All right, so I can catch back up with chat finally. Uh, Sharkfield, hello. Hopefully your weekend is starting well. Uh, what up though? Uh, Meshi, I needed to ask, how much did you spend for that computer that you bought? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to, because it's probably some weird number. But 3060 Ti is what I'm looking to get as well, which is why I ask. And, uh, yeah. I would venture for Naori. The thorns were... The thorns are like a Shion-specific thing. And that maybe in Naori's time frame, it wasn't manifested or something? Or maybe it didn't manifest itself as thorns or something, but... This brings up the next question I have. When Alfin went full Sovereign and unlocked his hidden power, it started consuming him and everything around him, and he kind of blew up half of Linigus in the process. Why didn't that happen to Volron? We will find out, probably. Also, nice screen we got going on back here. I like it. Did you read about him in the lore computer? Yes. He, uh, he dislikes authority and he had a good time. Sounds like this Naori chick had quite the big heart. Her position demanded nothing less. From the sound of things, she didn't focus on differences, least of all those between Renans and Danans. Yeah, it was Naori who first showed me that such a thing was even possible. And then she saved my life by sending me back home to Dana. Not only that, but she willingly stayed behind on Lenigus for the sake of her people. It sounds like she was quite the hero, all right. A truly caring person. That's as if walls meant nothing to her. The one separating the Renans from the Danans, or herself from others. She had no need for them. 
Which basically meant that she never had anything to break down in the first place, huh? Yeah. I think you may be right about that. You inherited that legacy. Her wish for the world. Don't I know it? She's kind of like a lodestar guiding our way. Showing us what we can aspire to. Oh, that could be it. They do the experiment. Well, they've done the experiment a lot. What was it? Volron was like subject 10,000 or something. I was thinking they could do it every couple years based on the Renis Alma. The Renis Alma rematerializes or something. But theoretically, this is the first time the Renis Alma has rematerialized in a while because the the book or the, the computer said that they're stopping the crown contest now that they have it back. So, I don't know. But yeah, maybe there are some technological advancements that allow them to maintain or contain his uh, astral energy output as the Sovereign. So that they don't need the Maiden to maintain him. Or maybe there's a second Maiden out there. Who also is a living time bomb. That's quite some door, all right. This might finally be it. The heart of the beast. We'll find the Renis Alma and the Red Woman inside, right? After everything we've been through to get here, they damn well better be. We'll probably be needing you to open this one for us, Sovereign. Go for it, Alfin. What could be back there? This is it, guys. Time to see what secrets are in store. And more importantly, I'm upset because Shion has Alfin's superpowers. I think I have to play Alfin. I'm gonna play Alfin. Arts. I only need one up attack, so I will do one up attack. Do I have any other good moves? Dragon Swarm! Iron Cleaver. Eh, it could be anything. It's true, though. Eh, fuck it. I'm pretty happy with the stuff I see here. He has less arts than I was expecting, you know? I don't know. We'll see. Fuck. We're a long way from the residential quarters now. It looks completely different. Yeah, you're right. Actually, this place... It reminds me more of being back inside the Wedge. Except the Danon Astral Energy feels even stronger here. In a portion of the city reserved purely for the Renin Sovereign. Strange. Maybe he just has strange tastes? This place looks like it has been here for quite some time now. If its design were a matter of personal preference, we would be talking from centuries ago. Or perhaps even further back. Still, this isn't the sort of decadence of taste spoken of in artistic circles. So what is it then? Hold up, decadence? Artistic circles? When a preference is indulged to its extreme, it descends into kitsch, eccentricity for the sake of it. I'd be happy to illuminate you further. That depends. Does it involve you buying me lunch? The void that art fills isn't the stomach. It's the soul. In that case, I'll let you know the next time my soul starts to rumble. Now all we need is something to fill up the void inside your head. Shut up! Dude, Hoodle looks so smug. He looked so goddamn smug. All right, boss time. Who 
Hoodle is a reflection of his owner. Volron! He really was still alive. Hey, he's back! Ooh. And there's the Renes Alma. Then, is this another spirit channeling ceremony? Wait, though. Something doesn't seem right here. Oh, once more, the powers must be united. Born from the fires of chaos, the world does seek its rightful state. All must be sacrificed in the heart of Rena, at the shrine of the true sovereign. The lot has happened to him. He's lost himself, reduced to a mere cog in a machine. <laughs> hey, look! Over there! Isn't that the Maiden's Crest? Can it be that this entire chamber is meant to act as a substitute for the Maiden? What the fuck? It looks like it's still running, but... Are we already too late to stop the ceremony? If that's what caused Lenegus's transformation, then the purpose of the ceremony must have been to drain all the astral energy out of Dana. But for what purpose? What could possibly need astral energy on that sort of scale? I don't know. But whatever it is, I'll bet it's connected to those visions of oblivion. Regardless, we cannot stand by and let them steal Dana's energy. That said, we should retrieve the Renes Alma. Because right now, we need that most of all. <sighs> Remember, kids, this is what Japan thinks. The guy so needs to be there, know, right? but it's the girl can be ball. replaced with a building. <laughs> the Red Woman! So we finally found you. I have a lot of questions for you. Wait! What? Uh, they all have the same face? How is that even possible? <laughs> what is this? Who the hell are they? It can't be. Are they even people? Do they look like people? I don't know for sure, but I think they're the true rulers of Rena. Here we They're fucking not go. Particularly talkative. It's no use, Alfie. If we don't fight, we may as well be sitting ducks here. Good point. Let's stop Whoops. them before this gets out of hand. Burning. Oh shit! The flaming discs are bad. I can't. I have no idea what the fuck just happened. Ah, weak to light. One. Two. Oh, the fuck. Stay away from my Shouldn't have done that. I am taking I stupid One. damage. One. Two. <laughs> Just keep doing raining slash. This is the damage we need in our life. Shion's dead. No wonder I wasn't getting healed. What was I thinking? I'll crush you. Lightning reflexes. Tenebrous claw. Damn, Laura, well, that was like 6,000 damage a hit! One, two, three. <laughs> oh shit! Shion! What are you doing? What the fuck is that screen? Healing circle! That big spot! Hurricane malevolence! Magic is in the shadow! Look sharp! Lightning tiger blade! Here's a healing darkest sky! First aid! Alright. Surrender! 
fighting is useless now! Do you think it's really over? <sighs> Astral energy. Watch out! They've got something up their sleeve! <clears throat> What? It's self-destructed? <laughs> that fucking Open gun! It. I'm okay. Just a little roughed up. You had me worried there. Just grab the bitch. Who said you could touch that? Damn it! He's awake! Hmm. I should have thought as much. So you know this place? Naturally, it was built for me, after all. We'll save that for another time. More pressing is how I'm going to tear you apart. Even after all this time, you still insist on hating me? You cut me down, sovereign or not. You will pay for that. <laughs> You're Look out! obviously bluffing. You can't even move right She's now. She's got a gun. It's Maybe so fucking great. Did you really think that such a petty device could hold me? Are you going to claim it's because you're a ruler? Be it sovereigns or lords. In the end, they're all titles given by someone else. Plus, what kind of ruler would spend all his time chasing Alf, who happens to be another sovereign? Idle prattle. I proved my worth and the sovereign's powers were granted to me. Were they really? We already know the title of sovereign doesn't denote royalty. It is but an overblown codename for those with a designated part to play in these proceedings. You mentioned before that you were not the only one stolen from Dana, correct? Yeah. There were countless. And every one of them besides me... died. All of those failed experiments, and they still kept going back to Dana. There must have been some vital reason their subject had to specifically be a Danon. Then there were the records we found in the library, for you and Volron. They were locked 300 years apart. And yet the data they took from you was exactly the same. Which leads us to a single conclusion. Then you mean... Boron was kidnapped just like Alfin? But then he became a... A slave from Dana. Just like us. Isn't that right, Volron? So he posed as a Renin and caused all that suffering to his own people? How could you? He didn't just if his own people, it was everybody. A slave, why would you inflict that upon others? Hmm. Renin and Dana are meaningless distinctions. Me and everyone else. That is all that matters. See, that's, that's that. Me I love it. He's I got that, that temperament. And take what is rightfully mine, starting with this. Yeah! Oh. <sighs> A red woman? Another one? Give your master back on Rena this message. No one makes a fool of me. Let them know I'll make them suffer. Don't do it! I want to be able to there teleport. What the fuck?
Both hands off him. No? <laughs> uh, entertainment. Go. But no, I will be your shadow no matter where you try to run. Let's go. He got the look of man literally too angry to die. Never you know he's not dead. I am the one who devours everything. Who answers to neither spirit nor man. My word is law. I am. I am. And no chance he's okay? fucking dead. Yeah. We'll be fine. Is Volron... Have we finally seen the last yeah, of him? Yeah, that's the we question to ask. Those red women. What the heck was their deal? Could they be the ones behind all this? The same ones who put those soldiers and Faria in a trance? What? Those brainless things? <sighs> Either way, they've done a runner with the Renis Alma. Damn it, that's the second time now! Whatever's stolen from us, we'll steal it back. The future's ours to protect. And right now, those things are what's standing in our way. We can head them off at Rena. Oh, shit! Did you say Rena? Volron mentioned a master of theirs holed up in the Motherland somewhere. If that monstrous forms their true identity, I shudder to think who they take orders from. Yeah, there's a good chance it's not human. That's for sure. So this thing over on Rena, that's what's really behind all this, huh? They have the Rena Salma in their grasp already, so it's unlikely they'll have cause to return to Dana. I agree that Rena's our best shot. Then we're agreed. Let's head back to the starship. But seriously, I was not expecting Voron to actually be here. He seemed to care not one whit about Renan's or Danan's. Yeah, and not in a good way like with us. Yo, what up, Peachy Julie? I appreciate the raid and welcome everyone. Uh, you're going to be listening to a lot of dialogue. <laughs> I've got many skits and many cutscenes to watch. I appreciate it. You, If you're finishing up, you have a great rest of your day too. All right. Yeah, you like the play coin, Tekka? I didn't see that coming about Volron. As for those red women, to think they were monsters all along. Tell me about it. One minute they look perfectly human. Next thing you know, they're not actually human at all. They definitely weren't Renan or Danon. I'm not even sure language would get through to them. So what were they then? Human Zoogle hybrids? Is the most terrifying thing anyone said all day. How about you, Shion? Dorling? You ever seen anything like that before? No, never. However, if they're the same as the Red Woman we've seen with Volron, I think it's safe for us to assume they understand our language at the very least. I had just so much I wanted to ask them. About Rena and Shion's thorns. Unfortunately, they blew themselves up before we got the chance. Why would they do such a thing, though? To take us with them? Or in order to keep something hidden? Both sound plausible to my ears. They took off with the Renis Alma too, remember? Yeah, they did. And the next time we meet them, we're going to make sure they tell us everything they know. 17 streams. This is stream number 13? 14? Something like that? Yeah. It's, uh, I mean... RPGs are normally cutscene heavy. They're normally, uh, you know, talk a lot. This game, however, puts Verbose to a whole new level. <laughs> but yeah, we are pretty much right at the end. Um, I would say outside of the, uh, the glaring pacing issues, this has been a great, great time. I really like the combat, which is something I don't get to say often in JRPGs. Last stream was very word heavy. Last stream was ended because I got sick of not being able to play the game. <laughs> I needed a break. So the one thing I think we're missing, I'm missing, 
is the purpose of the wedge. That was just to steal... Like, the crown contest, they inject the master cores with enough astral energy to make the Renaissance Alma, right? But then they injected the wedge to just try to steal everything else? Because, I don't know, they're making a Death Star or some shit? The wedge came after they got the Renaissance. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, the cores gathered it. The wedge sent it to the Linigus. I thought the astral energy was in the core, or was it stuck in the spirit vessel? Basically collected it from the cores. That's the cores turned into the Renaissance. Which. I guess didn't happen because we still have a fire sword. So yeah, I'm probably wrong on that hint. Oh wait, was that heal? That was heal. Yeah, she still has her master core, but the others, what happened to the others? Do I still have them? Remember when you find the Pit of Astral Energy? I forget which that is, but the Wedge gathered from those and sent the Linigus. Okay. Because I know the Spirit Vessel is its own thing, right? They, they mentioned the Spirit Vessel and, uh... Oh, God. I do want to fight. Glenamide. Let's dispose of the trash. you got spirit! Yo! And slap! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! No! This one's all Nice! Nice. No scratches exactly. on my shield or my armor. So raining slash hits it like an absolute freight drain. Which is just... Bellissimo! I was just, I was under the impression that the cores were for the Renis Alma, and the Wedge was just pulling everything left behind by the core. I assumed. But, how did they lose the Renis Alma in the first place? And what do they use it for that it gets consumed? And what do they need the extra astral energy for? Unless I was right and Rena is completely devoid. And maybe there's like a bubble there that it's full of like lush and happy and green on Rena. And they all live there. Pitch dark all and the rest of it's garbage. The lights are all out. Think it has something to do with the explosion back in the Forbidden Zone? Doe? They only had one before now? Didn't, hasn't there been Sorry, a ton of here. Thank goodness crown contests? Avakir filled me in about everything, about how I ambushed you all. She doesn't remember a thing, so she really was being controlled. He told me about Tarnigan, too. Is it true? What difference does it make? What's done is done. Stop casting me off just for one- Faria, not now. It can wait. Dohalim, Lenigus is in grave peril. So I can see. It's the city's core reactor. It's damaged. Some of the basic systems we've managed to keep online, but complete restoration still a way off. You're an elite technician, though. You can fix it, right? If so, then what's the problem? Panic's begun to set in among the citizens. Until now, whenever something like this happened, the Sovereign would issue a decree. But this time, not so much as a peep. Any longer and we run the risk of riots breaking out before we can get things back up and running. Forget the Sovereign. 
I doubt you'll be hearing from him anytime soon. What's that supposed to mean? Do you know something I don't? Yes. Suffice it to say, the Sovereign isn't the kind of ruler we thought he was. That is, if he ever even existed, which is looking doubtful at this stage. Are you out of your mind? Why, if people knew that a lord such as yourself was whispering such blasphemy, they'd... There's no time to explain now. It sounds like we need to find a way to keep Lenegas from spiraling out of control. We need to stop that riot. Oh, no. But how do we do that? I don't need side stuff to do. Riots feed on discontent and unrest, right? So if we want to keep the peace, we just need to put people's minds at ease. At ease? Like by letting them hear directly from someone they trust. That's it. Who's the highest ranking person in Lenegas right now? Lenegas wouldn't have a next in line. After all, you said the Sovereign rules over everyone directly. But everyone right? knows Dohalim. Correct. The closest thing to an authority figure would be a lord. And the only one left is... Me. Ah, very well then. Avakir, you mentioned a few facilities were still online. Which ones? Oh, why hasn't the Sovereign said anything? Please, won't somebody explain what's going on? Is it over? What's going to happen to all of us? I like how they keep getting Magalo's voice actor to just do hey, all the voices in this game. It is I, Lord Dohalim Ilkaris of Elder Men and Sia. Look up there, it's Lord Dohalim! Hold on! He should be in the crown contest! Shouldn't he? Why isn't the Sovereign talking to us? The Sovereign is seeing to other matters right now. In my capacity as Lord, I speak to you in his stead. You're afraid. As people so often are when faced with the unknown. I hope you'll allow me to put your fears to rest. The city's core reactor has experienced a malfunction. However, we have our top engineers attending to the matter, and things will soon be back to normal. I know that you feel abandoned. Perhaps more scared and alone than ever before. But I ask you all to keep one thing in mind. You are Lenegas. Not the Lords and Sovereign. The solidarity of its citizens is the mortar that holds it together. If we don't allow ourselves to be distracted by our differences, if we put our hearts and minds together and stand as one, I am confident we will find new hope. I would be honored to stand with you. Not as a person of loftier rank, but as another human being among many. I hope that you'll lend me your strength, for if we can persevere as one, I know a bright tomorrow awaits. Your speech seems to have done the trick. Looks like the city won't be descending into chaos after all. I only pray the relief will tide the city over for the time being. What you said earlier, about the Sovereign possibly not even existing, was it true? It's still too premature to say with any certainty, but I believe so. This whole time, this world we've been fed was a lie. Built on nothing but falsehoods. But... it can't all have been... I can believe it. After everything I saw in the Forbidden Zone, what they did to Faria, it's the only explanation that makes sense. But what about Hierarchy of Akir, Authority, the very foundations of Renan society? How can we live without someone to guide us? I'd say we found someone capable of doing just that, wouldn't you? You're not stealing my dough, Elim. You guys can fuck you? right off. You can't be serious. I have business I must take care of first. But once everything is over, I shall return. Yeah, he said the line again but to not her. As your sovereign. Twice. Nor as a leader, the likes of which the people here are used to, I think. But how else do you propose to rule? I'm not sure yet. All I have is a feeling that here in Lenegas. A new dawn is on the verge of breaking. 
One in which people won't be judged by birthright or on the power of their astral arts, but on other things. More important things. Things like, oh, I don't know, musical talent, for example. When I bumped into you after all those years, I said you were no different. But I was wrong. Truth is, you were always different. I feel like, like maybe now I can finally begin to accept Turnigan's death. To see a future. <laughs> you go finish whatever it is you've got to do. I'll hold down the fort here in Lenegas till you get back. Thank you. So, are we approaching I guess endgame you're not going finally? To, make it to Menencia for the foreseeable future, huh? Indeed. Forgive me. The people of Elda Menencia can look after themselves just fine. It's the ones here on Lenegas who need someone to guide them. Besides, with you leading the people here, it'll help spread the idea of coexistence beyond Menencia's borders that much faster. Sounds like you're in it for the long haul. How could I not be, after the second chance that I've been granted? From this day forth, I shall dedicate myself to the future inhabitants of this world. Though the memories of the departed shall remain forever in my heart. Remember, you're going to be leading the people here, not ruling them. True enough. Whatever would I do without you, Kisara? With or without her, I suspect you're gonna have your hands full when the time comes. We should be heading back to the ship. Business on Rena awaits. About done with the prologue. Ah, Dohalim, Renan leader. Shouldn't it be like a... Well, he is Renan, I guess. Though at this point, the people here have never been to Rena. They know nothing about Rena. They're all Linigasins? Lin... Lin... Uh... Linig... Um... Linigas. Linigasian? Also, new art. Neat. Looks like the people of Lenegas can rest easy. I couldn't have done it without your words of encouragement, Law. Hey, you're the one who made the speech. I think everybody can share the credit here. Renan's? No. This brings up a conversation about... Just call them leggings? There you go. No, it brings up a conversation, because eventually, if human beings would eventually populate another planet, say we uh, go to Mar Mars! Eventually, there's going to be a whole bunch of Martians, right? In one sense, when all is said and done, perhaps I have been a slave this whole time, too. You, a Renan Lord. How do you figure that exactly? I was complicit in the Renan system, bound by its values. Resigned to being swept along, without the resolve to take a stand. And when I realized the severity of my mistake, all I longed for was punishment. A lord, and yet my first instinct was to place my fate in the hands of others. I think I can relate. I couldn't stand watching my people bow and scrape their way through life, but I didn't know what else I could do about it either. The ability to think for yourself and be your own master, that's what separates a slave from a free person. At least, that's what Law's dad Zephyr used to say. Zephyr taught me how to fight. But in doing so, he also taught me how to live. Even if it means stumbling along the way. If it's on a road of our own choosing, free of regret. Why, that's the road of freedom. Or, to put it another way, so long as his heart is compromised, even the loftiest of kings is no freer than a slave. I think I finally understand now. This Zephyr character sounds like he was a wise man indeed. I only wish I could have met him. There's just so much I wish I could ask him, especially now. I wonder, have I been correctly carrying on the torch that he passed to me?
How long have you known? Known what? About the darkness I carry inside me. You seem to have been aware of it for quite some time now. Why ask me now? What does it matter? But, yes, I have. I've pretty much known that something was gnawing at you ever since we left Menencia. So basically since the very start of our journey then. Just when I thought I couldn't feel more ashamed. Leave the past where it belongs. We have no need for it now. You're forging ahead. That's what matters. If my brother could see you, he'd be proud. <laughs> not as proud as he would be of his sister, I'm sure. Well then, just as well it's not a competition, huh? <laughs> Three! Kisara? Anyone at home in there? <laughs> Sorry. Did I look distracted? Among other things. To be entirely honest, I couldn't tell whether you were smiling or frowning. You were thinking about Dohalim, weren't you? <laughs> that obvious, huh? I was just thinking how good it is to see him moving forward at last. It was always so infuriating, knowing how capable he could be if he just put his mind to it. A prisoner trapped in a cage of his own self-doubt. But now, he's finally beginning to spread his wings. I'm happy for him. So, then why do you look so sad? Oh, I don't know if I'd say sad. There's a bitter sweetness to it, I guess. It's good and strange, knowing that he won't be needing me anymore. I raised that boy. It probably sounds weird, doesn't it? I have this massive worry off my mind. I should be jumping up and down for joy, right? Must be that maternal instinct of yours at work. Rinwell's right. You're like a mother bird, finally letting go as her child takes his first shaking and nervous flight from the nest. A pretty big <laughs> Fucking <child>. hoodle! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking That's one hoodle! Way to look at it. I wouldn't like to see Dohalim's face if he heard you say that. All this has made me realize I can't allow myself to become a prisoner of my own making like he was. If Dohalim can forge his own path ahead, then I can too. I won't be left behind. Oh, well, it was only three. I was expecting that to be the ten skit burst. Alright, uh in travel to Rena. This is happening. Hey, isn't there supposed to be uh uh, we we did water, we did earth, we did fire, wind. Isn't there supposed to be some wind sentient boss? The ten skit burst was because I was fast traveling around to pick up quest between skits. You know where Windville is. Uh oh, the tower. I have a tower quest. Can we teleport now? No. Where am I going? I could probably come back whenever I want. I'm not gonna do this side quest right now, I just... You're going for your boat. But the real question is, I was barely cognizant last time I came here, so where's my boat? Side quests are free SP. It's also time burnt. And you think I need SP, motherfucker? I have this. I have... I have this. You can get more time. Of course! Why didn't I think of that? Time is just this free thing. Just buy some of the... Oh, you bring up a good point. Yeah, if I ever want... SP, what do, what do I got? I got a thousand SP there. I got a two thousand SP there. I got. Oh, wait, no. Uh, I see. So one there, one there. So that's three thousand, four thousand. Hold on, let me. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've got 4,000 SP I can just grab. And, yeah. Yeah, you like these? You like these DLC bonuses? I like the free uh, 40 levels. I could click all of this and be level 80 right now. <laughs> Or is it for it? Oh yeah, because the starter pack is an additional five. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, I could uh double SP and then 20% SP boost. Yep, 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 yep. Do you think I fucking need SP? I'm never gonna grind in this game. Grinding in JRPG is for chumps. I got upset at one of the wedge light quests and hit all of them, then reloaded and fought stuff. <laughs> it's a uh, quick saving before the boss, right? Or quick save. NPC says some shit in Skyrim. Just that quick save button. I'll catch you nerds later. Neat. If that didn't look so garbage, that looks like ass. The that planet, I don't know if it's like my graphic settings or something, but that looks like ass. <laughs> you get to the cloud district often? What am I thinking? Of course you don't. Quick saving. I thought we'd find answers on Lenigus, but we just ended up finding more questions. You can say that again. And now we have more problems to fix, too. I like that the cloud like district... Figuring out how uh, to reform Lenigus. That can wait for now. We've got more than enough on our plates to deal with as it is. Like figuring out who's really running the show on Rena. Yeah. Which is why we're going to the Renan homeworld. All the answers we've been looking for are on that planet. The person responsible for all this. The Red Woman and the Renis Alma. The answers have to be there. Are we prepared to finally find them? So, what do we do first when we get there? We know nothing about the Renan homeworld or what we might face once we arrive. We should get a feel for how things are on the ground before we take any serious steps. It's also entirely possible that the first thing we're going to face is an attack. If we come across a capital, we should... <coughs> what? Right? <laughs> Quick saving. How come they can exist in space? Oh shit! We all exist in space? Yeah. Damn! The hell just happened? Our course has been altered. The coordinates are pointing to a different destination. What's that? The ship's controls aren't accepting my commands. The engine is being shut down. That's bad, right? Quite bad. We've lost control of the ship. Is all of this the Red Women's doing? Are they trying to finish us off before we can land? <laughs> Everyone! Look there! <sighs> oh, anime! Ha! <laughs> 
I fucking knew it. <laughs> it's a gun. I didn't know that. It's not a gun. Oh, it is doing something. Oh. I knew the planet was a fucking jape, though. Excuse me? A flower blooming out of Retta? But that flower looks like it's absorbing all of Dennis's energy. And it appears Lenegus is serving as a conduit for that energy to reach here. Could that have been its true purpose all along? If that's true, do you think the people back on Lenegus are all right? <sighs> we can only pray that they are. Damn it! Haven't they taken enough already? When is this going to end? The Flower of Oblivion. With everything that's happening, we need to get back to Lenigus. Is the ship still offline? Unfortunately, yes. Even more so than when it laid dormant. Can you fix it? Starships are extremely complex machines. One wrong move while we're out here in space could very well cost us our lives. So what? We're just stuck inside here, floating around? For how long? <laughs> Fucking Sakuraba! This. We've made it all this way, and now we're stuck here? We're watching Dana die before our eyes, and we have no choice but to sit here and starve to death? Law, calm down. You're not the only one who's worried here. Right. Sorry. It's still too early to give up. There has to be a way to get out of this. Spacesuits. Alfin. Ah! Oh, wait, abandon this ship for uh, the Ragnarok. The starship, it... it's back online? No, this is different. Something is pulling our ship in towards it. Yeah, we're gonna have to clear it out of monsters and shit like that, but yeah. And we're probably gonna have to rescue Shion, because she's gonna get into a suit and get left in space. And then Alphen's gonna go flipping through that bitch and grab her and be like, I got you, babe. The whole time the thorns are going off, but he's like, I got you, babe. We managed to get moving, but where are we? It looks like Lenigus in here. Do you think we might run into more Renans here? Or those Red Women? Perhaps. Someone brought us here. The question is, who? We haven't been ambushed, so that probably means they aren't hostile. Still, why would anyone want to bring us here? Uh, hey, Shion! If they wanted to attack us, they could have done so while we were back on the starship. We should see where this path takes us. Yay, more skits! Ah, uh, Shion, just in the nick of time. Here, lend me a hand while I... <laughs> just... No! What the... Oh, right. The thorns. <laughs> My bad. Bro, how long no, has it been? I'm the one who should apologize. I overreacted. Again, Law? Can't you even go a minute without putting your foot in your mouth? 
Seriously, it's fine. I'd rather that than people feeling like they're walking on eggshells around me. Besides, I'm the one who should be vigilant about not touching you guys, not the other way around. Actually, I've been meaning to ask. Not being able to touch people... Does it ever real? get lonely sometimes? How are we having this conversation I I 70 really hours into the in game? Terms. It was either accept it for what it was or come undone. Before long, it was just part of my everyday reality. I think I even forgot there was another way to live. Which isn't to say I didn't feel alone. I did. Always. So numb to your reality, you couldn't even recognize it as loneliness? I don't know how you managed. It's fine. I know I'm not alone anymore. But I can't even touch you. No way of lending you a shoulder when you're down. Even Alfin. Thanks for reminding her, Rinwell. I appreciate Rinwell. the concern. Until I get rid of these thorns, I guess I'll have to put up with it just a little longer. But not forever. Alfin promised me that. Maybe it'll be soon. Maybe it won't be. But either way, the day will come. And I'll be ready when it does. Yeah, just hang in there. One day, we'll share a big warm hug. You'll see. I promise. Low-key, Rinwell is like the biggest asshole this game has to offer. <laughs> Boo! Ah, what the? Are you out of your mind? This isn't the time for games, Rinwell. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to resist with you looking all jittery like that? It's called experiencing feelings appropriate to the situation. You ought to try it sometime. Yeah, but seeing you act all nervous, you're making me start to feel nervous, too. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. Staying alert is important, but too much caution can cloud your judgment. Try to strike a balance. Yeah, low. it is Loki, because people wouldn't normally look at Rinwell and be like, she's a dick. She's kind of a dick. I still can't what we saw happening outside the starship. God damn it. Yeah, our planet's really not doing too hot right about now. I've only ever seen Rena from the surface of Dana, so I figured it was just another round planet like ours. Still, though... I never would have imagined Rena actually looked like that. And what's the deal with that giant flower coming out of it? Beats me. I have absolutely no clue. It's so surreal. It looks like a broken egg or something. Rena and Dana. We were taught that both worlds were spherical bodies that floated amongst the stars in the heavens. But to think that they lied to us not only about the Sovereign and the Crown Contest, but also the form of our own planet. Dohalim. Okay. Oh my god. Someone, here? someone formidable enough to bring our starship along with us. They must be here somewhere. Let's find them. That beam of light joining Dana and Rena. It was the Renan side that it first came from, right? That's what it looked like. And then the Danan side responded. Perhaps it was some kind of directive from the Renan homeworld? To reawaken the Wedge and Lenigus? Which would mean that whoever's behind all this is on Rena after all. But what are they after? Is it really worth going through all this trouble just to steal Dana's energy? Try to stay calm. With so many factors we don't understand, dwelling on it won't get us anywhere. <sighs> what is it? No, it's just... Zephyr once told me the same thing. So much for me making progress, huh? You made it this far, didn't you? You notice something, you change it. That's all anyone can do. But you can't stand still in the meantime. He's out here betting play coins. He's not even invoking the play coin. He's betting play coins. I feel like that's against the terms of service. So you think it's going to be that bad, huh? You said that we get one every time Rinwell mentions astral energy, so I have some to spare. <laughs> I'm in the soup! Uh... 
I realize there's gonna be a lot of story related stuff, but can't there be like story related stuff during the fighting stuff or something? On our planet, we have trees, but they're not allowed out in the normal atmosphere. We keep them confined to these glass chambers where you can view said trees at your own indiscretion. This place looks a lot like that room we saw back in the Forbidden Zone. Huh? What's that? It sure looks like a Zoogle, but the Red Woman also. A Red Woman in disguise. Or is this their true form? So it was a trap? It doesn't look like it can move. Tell me, are you the one who brought us here? That is correct. It is unusual for me to have unexpected guests these days. Ah, uh, yes. It can talk. It's the, the alien from Below Zero. What are you? Fantastic. Have wrecked 35. Have wrecked 35. Is that your name? Correct. What is this place? No, wait, before that, just what exactly are you? Are you somehow associated with the Red No, he, he's Renan. Before I answer, I have a question for you. How did you all arrive in this sector? Everyone on Linigus is actually Dana. Choice. Our ship was brought Ooh. here against our will by a group of red women who can shift into the same form as you. In that case, we can assume my brethren who serve the Great Spirit have deemed you all to be a threat most grave. What do you mean, serve? Are you saying there really is someone more powerful than the red women pulling their strings? What did you do to us? I examined your bodies. You have not been harmed in any way. Identifiers detected. The Sovereign and Maiden are among you. However, you aren't under its control. I see why they viewed you as a danger now. Oh goody, more riddles. Do you think we can trust this thing? Like it or not, it may be our best chance at a ticket out of here. Let's at least hear it out. I shall now answer your questions. We are Helganquil. Helganquil. The red women you encountered previously are a form of disguise we employ from time to time, but not our true form. Helganquil? You are on Dake Faisal, a celestial base which drifted here by accident. The will of Rena's great spirit no longer reaches us here. Since my sudden separation from the great spirit's influence, I have used any and all means to extend my lifespan. As I have done so, I have also set out to monitor and research Rena and Dana from this position. A question. What is this great spirit of which you speak? Is it something that rules over your kind? Correct. The great astral spirit is a large mass of astral energy that fills all of Rena, one with its own will, a voice we cannot refuse. A voice? Just like Dana. The voice of the great spirit speaks to our hearts directly, and we have served it without question throughout the ages. Does that mean it was controlling your minds? Wait a second. Could this great spirit be the true sovereign of Rena? The true ruler of Rena. It could be the same thing that's controlling Volron. 
Wait, back up. You're telling us this great spirit of yours is the one that ordered you things to harvest the astral energy from Dana? I'm not sure I believe that. Why not? We've already made contact with the will of Dana back in the Wedge, and in the Forbidden Zone on Lenigus. If Dana has a will of its own, I don't see why Rena wouldn't. Maybe not, but think about what you're saying. If Dana has a will like Rena, then that would mean that we've been controlled by the voice of Dana this whole time, just like these things. Dana's will hasn't been forcing us to do anything. Yeah, but... How do you know? Let's assume that what Hevrek 35 claims is true, and that we are indeed cut off from both planets. Even if we had previously been under the control of Dana's will, we would have noticed now that we are disconnected. Your fear is not based in logic. The voice of Dana is much smaller and quieter compared to that of Rena's great spirit. Rena's astral energy is amassed at its center, whereas Dana's is shared among all its constituents. Ah, yes, of course. So they are all the life stream. That energy spread that it cannot coalesce and formulate a will. Our findings here indicate as much. Which explains why we felt its will where we did. The Wedge and Lenigus are where so much of that energy had been accumulated. The Great Spirit's desire is to consume all astral energy. And the pursuit of that desire is why you see Rena in its current state. As a result, it has turned its attention toward Dana. Is that why the Crown Contest is necessary? So that the Great Spirit can feed off of Dana? Indeed. And it was to that end that we Helganquil devised the Crown Contest. Had the initial spirit channeling from 300 years ago succeeded, all of Dana's astral energy would have been seized. <sighs> but the ceremony failed. Lenigus was severely damaged, and you lost both the Sovereign and the Renesalma. Correct. A change in plan was required to ensure the spirit channeling success. However, Recreating the Renes Alma required a vast amount of energy. That is why we turn to Dana. So that was the real purpose behind the Crown Contest. An efficient means to harvest the necessary energy from Dana. This is all happening because of me. Nevertheless, you still haven't answered one of Alfin's original questions. Just why have you brought us here to your base, Hevrecht 35? First, it was to confirm the identities of you, my unexpected visitors. Second, it was to ascertain whether you would be likely to accept my request. A request? Kill Rena. But what could someone like you want us to... I wish for you all to slay the Great Spirit. Yeah! We get to kill the moon! I'm sorry, did you just ask us to <laughs> kill your master? Twin planet? I did. It is in your best interest that you do so, I might add. What makes you say that? Lenigus has entered the final stage of the spirit channeling plan. As we speak, Dana's energy is being harvested en masse and transmitted to Rena. If nothing is done about the Great Spirit, it will not be long before all is lost. You're saying the destruction we saw earlier is just the beginning? That... We won't let that happen. Why do you want us to kill the Great Spirit so badly? Is it to save our world? To free you, Helganquil, from under its control? Why? No. My primary concern is validating our findings and analysis which have taken many years to realize. As such, it is my desire to see how your actions impact and change these systems. However, I will not deny that vengeance also plays a part. Vengeance? For what? In spite of our long service to the Great Spirit, our species is on the brink of extinction. You mean... you're dying? At this stage, it would be wise for you to talk with the others. Ask them what you need to know. Once you have your answer, return to me. If you agree to help, I shall fix your ship. Others? Just how many of you are there? 
I am the only Helganquil who inhabits Dake Faisal. Hey! Hey! It's no use. I think it's done talking to us. Let's take a look around. Isn't that fun? If you accept my offer, I'll fix your ship. And if you don't, you're stuck here forever and you die. Congratulations on the illusion of choice. No, I'm excited. We get to kill a planet. Thank God. Oh, is Brenna a planet per se? It's... You can't seriously be buying anything that creature told us, right? I mean, it's practically blackmailing us into doing its dirty work. At least he brings it up. To be honest, the conversation went on for so long, I'm not sure I understood all of it. How about you, Dohalim? Were you able to follow it at all? At the very least, everything it said about the Renan Great Spirit adds up. At the end of the day, this whole chain of events comes back to astral energy. That being said, had we not previously encountered the will of Dana, I suspect I would find its story much more difficult to believe. The spirit of Rena wants to see Dana completely destroyed. But why? Astral energy is supposed to be a force that creates and shapes the world. It doesn't matter. I don't care if we're up against an entire world or what its game is. We're not going to let it destroy Dana. Right. There is one other thing that concerns me. How the Great Spirit, the Helganquil, and the Crown Contest are all part of a centuries-long plan is clear enough. But what about the Renans? How do they factor into all this? <sighs> now that you mention it, and all that talk, Hevrek 35 never even brought up the Renans once. And as for the Helganquil, we never did find out just what they are either. Maybe it had a reason for keeping its silence. Or perhaps there's even more going on. Maybe the others will shed more light on the matter. Let's find out. Telling you, Renans as we know them are all Danans. The Helganquin use their body morphos, morph, morph, morphing, mor morphological morpho, to uh, morph into the human form. Yes, the Algonquin. They did the thing. And, um, and then pulled the Danans and then history just kind of erased the idea that and then you know they all the Danans thought they were Renans boom mystery solved thank you for coming to my TED talk big warts me not get stopped now please warp, warp, warp. What up, Epitos? Job's done. Metempsychosis. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, what is this? It's a viewing deck. I don't know what's going on in chat anymore. Did I... Was I at the lower level when I talked to that nerd? Or did I go to the central level? I don't really... Rem oh, no. We're good. It's another word for reincarnation. Why does it need two words? We already have a word. Who are they? Hmm. Well, what is it? Oh, my apologies. It's just been so long since I've seen any humans from the outside world. Is that not Zephyr's voice actor? Are you a Renan? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Hmm? The Overseer told us to answer any questions you might have. Whatever you want to know, we'll tell you as much as we can. But be quick. Our subjects are undergoing a dramatic shift that we don't want to miss. Epitos, that was dumb as shit. I like Carnation, what but why do we guy. need a Rian of them? He must have meant Hevrecht 35 when he mentioned that Overseer. And what was that about subjects? You don't think he meant Dana and Rena, do you? There isn't anyone else we can talk to. 
I guess we should ask around here. Let's talk to the very obvious human beings. Have you guys lived up here in Dig Faisal with Hevrek 35 for a long time? Yes. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head just how long it's been, though. We regularly go into stasis, so our sense of time has gotten rather out of whack over the years. Why are you all even here in the first place? Originally, this station was where we worked to perform maintenance on Lenegas from the outside. We heard that the facility ended up in its current location due to an accident. Oh, it was terrible. Apparently, there was some kind of accident, and when help never arrived, they presumed the entire facility had been destroyed. And you've been working for Hevrecht 35 ever since? Well, at first we thought that there was nobody else inside the facility, but then it turned out the Overseer was there all along. What do you mean? The Helganquil have the technology to cloak themselves around us Renans. As long as they don't do anything obvious, a Renan won't see one, even if it's right in front of them. Which would explain why Shion and I failed to notice the Red Women previously. Do they employ an astral art of some sort? That seems... I haven't been able to scientifically confirm it for myself, but from what I understand, the type of cloaking they use is primarily achieved through mechanical means. In addition, they also use hypnosis devices and information control to get us to do what they wanted without being detected. That seems it's really a contrived. Operation, especially since it avoids any unnecessary conflict. I have to imagine that's how Lenegas is still run. But aren't the Helganquil themselves controlled by the Great Spirit? If so, why aren't Renans affected by it in the same way? The Great Spirit's mind control only works on Helganquil, so they had to employ other means to manipulate us Renans. That also seems a bit you contrived. Like this if I was you, I'd be mad as hell at their deceptions. I mean, sure, I was surprised when I first found out about it, but it happened so long ago. Hevrek 35 has clearly ceased concealing itself, though. Why is that? Who can say? My guess is it just got bored, or maybe even a little lonely. Don't you want to go back home to Rena or Lenegas? Our ship is going to be fixed pretty soon. You could ride with us. No way. If we went back after knowing the truth, they'd either just brainwash us or purge us outright. After all this time, there's nothing to be gained from going back. We've all agreed it'd be best to simply stay here and watch everything unfold instead. Things are going just fine with the Overseer. Not that it'll be around much longer. It can't extend its life any further. That said, I'm sure it's pleased to see the final stage of the plan before it passes on, though. Thank you for answering our questions. I don't know. You have a hard time of convincing me that the, uh... The Helganquil or whatever just kind of happened to stumble into Rena. And Rena, the Great Spirit, just grabbed those bitches like, Gotcha, ass, And then convinced them to do the dirty work. I don't know, dude. Alright, here we- yep. There's- I know, I know, I know, I'm waiting. Yep, yep. Alright, Epitas. Alright. Better be- Spell, yes. Y-E-S. If you're about to make me say some shit without me knowing, bro. Spell eyes. E Y E S. <laughs> Where funny? It was supposed to be funny. Are jokes supposed to have a fucking punchline? <laughs> what was the punchline? What the fuck? <laughs> really? 
Real question, have you not seen that vid? I have no idea what you're going on about, bro. Can we talk to you for a few minutes? Sure. It's going to be a while before the two planets undergo their next shift, so I can talk until then. Please, tell us what you know about the Helganquil. You mean the Overseer species? I can't say I know much about them. Well, for starters, where'd they come from? Where did they go? <laughs> where else? From Rena, obviously. From Rena? Yeah! Wait, are you telling us those things live right alongside the Renans down there? Put it in stream-related in Discord. Of course not. There's really no such thing as Renans in the first place. Excuse me? Oh, I thought the Overseer explained everything. Apparently not. Please, tell us more. Well, in a nutshell, the Renans were originally created from Danans by the Helgan. I am so smart! <laughs> Uh, realistically, that's a twist anyone could have fucking seen the moment they saw literal Iliums. But if that's true, then that would mean there aren't any people on Rena. There aren't. But there are Helganquil. That's what the name literally means in their language. People of Rena. But what need could they possibly have to create a whole new race of people? It was a way to bolster their dwindling workforce. I trust you're aware that the Helganquil are on the verge of extinction, yes? In essence, we were created to carry on their work for the Great Spirit after they all die. They gathered Danans who had an affinity for astral arts and proceeded from there. That's why we, as their descendants, can all cast arts, albeit to varying degrees. Let me get this straight. Are you saying Renans were originally created from Danans that the Helganquil kidnapped? Wait. That explains why almost nobody can use Astro Arts on Dana now. Helganquil technology is truly amazing. The way they alter their bodies is far less invasive than your conventional surgeries. They have these tiny machines that are practically <laughs> invisible, which they insert into their bodies and- Enough. You needn't tell us anymore. How why can was you that speak freaky? so calmly about all of why this? Why are they all freaked out? I guess I can see how when Viewed in a certain light, their ways may sound grotesque. But if you ask me, I think they ultimately did us a favor. They saved us from crawling the earth in ignorance. If it meant their hands had to get a little dirty in the process, then so be it. How come they said the earth? Anyway, the Helganquil are the real Renans. Personally, I don't think it's such a big deal. They're also mostly the ones behind what you see going on between the two planets. I think that covers just about everything worth knowing. I see. Thanks for filling us in. Earth is another way of saying dirt. Could you Did say you really you're crawling around on Mars's Earth? Never truly existed. How absurd. Dohalim. Just when I think we're getting to the bottom of it all, some new revelation smacks us in the face. That sounds dumb. And let's hope this is our last revelation for a while. Nobody would want you to say that, but you could say it. Is it grammatically correct? I could say whatever I want. Me smart, me, me good. Do you know anything about a spirit channeling plan? If you mean the first plan from 300 years ago, then yes. Do you know what its main objective was? Yes. It was to use Lenigus to siphon off Dana's astral energy and send it to Rena. Exactly. However, there were two problems we had to consider. First was how to collect and send such a Seriously. large quantity of astral energy without it becoming sentient. Is this not Zephyr's voice actor? Second, whose name eludes me again? How to convert Dana's energy so it would be compatible with Rena. I take it the solutions to those problems were to use oh, the Oh no, web that's Charles. And then the sovereign Whose name also eludes me. The energy. Charles Beans. We have a winner. Yeah. However, the first plan failed when the sovereign was overwhelmed and became frenzied. <sighs> the reason for that is because the maiden lost control. I'm told he slaughtered many Renans in Helganquil that day. <sighs> for the next plan, we tried to recreate the Renis Alma. But we didn't have nearly enough of the other non-dark astral energy types. To amend that, we set our sights on Dana, 
and implemented a system whereby we could extract energy from it. And the crown contest began. Correct. Since the Maiden had been the failing point in the previous plan, it was decided to replace her role with machinery to avoid further mis- I told you! <laughs> Japan! A new sovereign had to be made as well. It was such tremendously difficult work, its success was dubious. But from the look of things, it would appear such worries were unfounded. So that's what the purpose of that room we found in the Forbidden Zone was. What about the flower that sprouted from Rena? Flower? Oh, that thing. That's the physical manifestation of all the astral energy that's been harvested from Dana. As I'm sure you've noticed, it's quite a lot of energy. At this point, it's likely that it's become physically integrated with Rena's planetary structure. Hevrecht 35 mentioned that the spirit channeling plan is entering its final stage. Is that true? It is. I never thought I would live to see the day with my own eyes. And yet here we are. Are we done talking now? If it's all the same to you, I'd really rather not miss anything that's about to happen. He talks like the potential end of the world is just another day on the job. You've got to remember that these guys have been living alone up here for a long time. Who knows what shape their minds are in. Ah, you just noticed the unmodded it feels tag. like our whole world has been turned upside down. Is there anything we know that's still true at this point? Seriously, I'm still trying to process the fact that we Renans were created by the Helganquil, let alone the Sovereign and Maiden stuff. Created's not the right word. Let's take a moment to gather ourselves. It was advanced eugenics. I know all of this is a lot to believe and take in, but I think it's fair to say that we found the answers we've been looking for. Does everyone agree? Agreed. Though I'll admit that I never expected it to all boil down to Rena's great spirit being behind everything. Everything that's happened, everything we've endured, it's all because of astral energy. And to get that energy, the great spirit took control of the Helganquil. Then the Helganquil created the Renans, who went on to invade and rule over the Danans. Plus, the reason the Great Spirit can't directly control the Renans as well is likely because they were originally Danans all along. <laughs> Either way, I think it's fair to say we've all had a lot to take in at once. Maybe too much, even. We should probably take it easy and rest our minds a bit. Why don't we all take some time to think things over before we decide on our next move? That's a good idea, Kisara. If the Renan Great Spirit really is behind all this, and we've got a really big fight ahead of us. Because it's not just Dana on the line, but Rena too. If we're going to do this, we need to be completely sure of ourselves. So let's go ahead and break off for now. We aren't in any immediate danger, so we should be okay. You sure you don't want to be alone right now? I could ask you the same question. I figured I'd get all my thinking in while walking around and checking up on everybody. I'll go along with you. I'm interested to hear what's on everyone's no! minds, too. Sounds good. Let's go find them. Meshi might be right. Everyone's just gone their own way, huh? Yeah, let's hit up each spot. Meshi could have been on to something, because Jesus Christ. Also, Epitos, years ago, ye literal years ago, uh, I streamed Skyrim. I had stayed up. For over 30 hours the night or the day before, like I had been up 30 hours straight and I was going to stream, but I didn't want to do anything I was normally doing. So I streamed Skyrim and it was one of the dumbest streams I'd done in a while. Dump! I don't want to click it. I don't want to click it. There's a right bumper icon at the bottom right and I just don't want to click it. This game legit puts me to sleep. <laughs> I I am was fresh. I was feeling good, feeling great, and now my eyes are heavy. Everything we thought Knees we weak. Knew, it was all just a fabrication that the Red Women, no, that the Helganquil made up. Right. Assuming we can believe anything that Hevrek 35 has told us, that is. 
Well, if the names are anything to go by, it's possible the Helganquil could be behind the fruits of Helgen too. But if Hevrek 35 was telling the truth, and this was all just one massive lie, does that mean everything we've done up until now has been pointless? No, I don't think so. Or at least I hope not. I think it just means we've lost our foothold for now. That's all. Really? Well then, if we've lost it, I guess we'll just have to find another. All of us together. And if we can't find one, then we'll make a new one. End of story. Make one, huh? I see. Right then, count me in. It's nicer when characters group up for a single skit. My problem are the skits themselves. If this was all animated cutscenes and I got to see all of the characters in full motion, that'd be one thing. I'm literally watching a comic strip for like hours on end. It th It is not spark joy. I'll just start at the front. Mom spaghetti. Oh, it's you two. Does he seem like he's doing any better now? He who? Oh, you mean Dohalim, don't you? I know that we're all struggling to wrap our minds around it all, but he looked like he was taking it really hard earlier. What do you think about everything we've learned? About the Renans and the Great Spirit and all that? On some level, I'm not even really sure what to think, to be honest. I mean... The Great Spirit is like a huge, natural disaster, but with a mind and will of its own. But if that thing's hellbent on trying to destroy our planet, then the only thing left for us to do is stop it. As for the Renans, I suppose my feelings on that are a bit more mixed. How so? Coexistence between Danans and Renans in Menencia is still a work in progress. In my case, I think that's partly because deep down, I was still on guard around Renans. So, <laughs> to be told that they're like us, that they're actually just like us is, well, <laughs> I guess it's a little deflating, to be honest. You kept a pretty level head. You mean about the Renans? At the end of the day, the Helgan Quill and the Great Spirit are the ones who are responsible. But at the same time, I realize that not every Danon is necessarily going to believe that either. I know you're already aware of this, but the list of grievances the Danons have against the Renans is long, and understandably so. And if people then find out that they're all actually one and the same, yeah, I don't think they're going to take to it too kindly. Even just among the Danons, I'm sure there will be some who emerge with power and some who won't. I think if we can find a way to get rid of that imbalance, then we'll be in a truly good place. Well, first we can try to figure out what to do about the existing conflicts we have. Yeah. It'd be nice if one day people could learn to get past their hatred like Rinwell did. It's no small task. We can't pretend like the past didn't happen and ask people to forget their very real pain and suffering. Right. Everybody has their reasons for feeling the way that they do. But if we just keep yelling at each other about it, we'll never move on. In a worst case scenario, it might lead to even more people getting killed. Oh my fucking we all god. Have to figure out how to meet halfway. Not just that, but to also embrace each other's pain in a sense. That's an interesting way of putting it. It's true. Everybody has their own scars, their own trauma. The first step to healing those wounds is to put aside that hatred. It won't be achieved through reasoning, but I think it's a good first step, if nothing else. And now, I think I see a way to move forward. But to do that, first we need to make sure our planet isn't going to get wiped I'm out. I'm like 90% sure we already had that conversation back at the other garbage. What was the, what was the name of this place? Uh, Mahagsar in Nias. Jesus Christ. You will lose some treasure due to your inventory and or wallet being- I don't care. I'm not gonna lie, I like 
half glazed over when that happened. These are Dake Faisal construction plans showing a central elevator shaft in multiple circular areas. Elevator. You both seem awfully calm. <laughs> Only because after everything we've seen, we don't have the energy to keep being shocked. How are you holding up, Rinwell? That whole talk about the Renans looked like it shook you up a bit. Yeah. I get this sinking feeling whenever I remember how Dan and mages like my family were persecuted and died out. And now, I finally know why that is. <sighs> but I was thinking, if Renans end up living together with Danans again, then mages won't be such an unusual thing to see on Dana anymore, right? <laughs> I know it's not as simple Small as all that, Small miracles! Danans probably won't be so quick to let their guards down. And there might be Renans who still act superior because of their arts. It wouldn't surprise me. 300 years of bad blood and prejudice isn't going to be an easy thing to overcome. Yeah. I know firsthand just how much hatred can take hold in your heart once you let it in. But even so, I was still able to change. And if I can change, so can anyone else. So I was thinking maybe, I don't know, I could use my position as both a Danon and a mage to help bring both sides together. Renwell. That great spirit worries me too, though. Dana's will feels so warm and inviting. So why is Rena's will trying to destroy our entire planet? Now that you mention it, Everick 35 and the other scientists here never really brought that up. Maybe they don't know either. Maybe. But regardless, at the end of the day, Dan is still our home. There's no way we can let it be destroyed. We won't. We'll keep it safe no matter what. I am trying to be respectful to the game. But to say that I have checked out is uh, an understatement. I've mentioned before, but it's because of the genre. If this was a Telltale game, as we are talking in the, uh, in the chat. If this was a Telltale game, I would be fine with this. And I would probably be hooked in, because I know what to expect. But because this is an RPG and I've been playing for 70 hours of this fucking game, I would like to go back to the gameplay portion, please. Thank you. There is gameplay to be had elsewhere. I would like to gameplay. This is the gameplay. This is why I didn't like Pyre. I still can't believe it, man. You're not the only one still trying to make sense of all this. Believe me. Really? You've never struck me as the type of guy to get hung up on these sorts of things. Did you forget what happened back in Thistleum? Once my memory started coming back to me, I felt completely and totally lost. It was really that bad for you? Yeah, it was. But thanks to Law and everybody else, I remembered that I still had things out there worth fighting for. <sighs> Man, I think you might be a better guy than me, Alfin. All I can remember thinking was, when's this guy gonna get his act together? Law. I was too worried about repeating the same mistakes I'd made back with my dad, and running away from the truth. That was no way to live, and I've tried to stay strong, my way. But all this talk about other races and the world ending? If I can be honest with you guys, it's just all too much for me to handle right now. I know this is going to sound strange coming from me, but maybe the key is not to worry too much about the big stuff right now. Oh? I used to worry all the time about my thorns, for obvious reasons. But I never really opened up to anyone about them. And when I realized my visions pointed to a threat that was bigger than me, I didn't know what I should do or who to tell. But that's when I finally got it. You guys were all there for me, to teach me what's really important. I just had to open up and listen. In other words, if you let the big picture stuff get you all muddled up inside, you'll begin to lose sight of what you really care about. Yeah, I think you're right. The thing that's most important, what I really care about, all I want to do is protect the people that really matter to me, to fight for them. That's good enough, right? Not everyone is strong enough to fight. Huh? It's something your dad told me once when he was still alive. Law, 
You know you're strong enough to fight, and you're strong enough to protect the people you care about. Forget all the big stuff going on. Just don't lose sight of what you want to protect in the first place. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> it's like a big weight's been lifted off my shoulders. I'll fight to protect the people around me. Just like I always have. I think that's best. Hey, look, nothing changed for him. Or something. I'm sure someone caught that. Any part of that, I'm sure it happened. I apologize for making you witness that. You mean hearing the origins of the Renans? Indeed. It's shocking to have so many things I thought to be indelible fade away in mere seconds. Even I'm still not sure everything we've heard here is actually true. Let's not delude ourselves. If what we've heard is a lie, it's a rather elaborate one. <laughs> I can only imagine that you must have been constantly feeling like this, ever since your memory returned, Alfin. And you as well, Shion. About your thorns, and being a maiden. That's just part of being alive, don't you think? Well, to say the least. But enough about me. I'm not concerned for myself. What concerns me is all of the other Renans out there. When you say the other Renans, you mean the ones that are living on Lenigus or Dana, right? Correct. Even if we stop the Great Spirit from annihilating Dana, our problems will still remain. Putting aside the untold state that Rena may be in, if we do not truly belong there, we will have to think long and hard about where it is that we wish to return to. So, I guess your only real choices at this point are to either stay on Lenigus or come down to Dana, huh? And right now, Lenigus might not even be a safe option. And at the same time, Danans are hardly likely to embrace Renans with open arms. If the issue is forced, things could turn dire. There is, after all, three centuries worth of hatred to overcome between us. And the victims of our rule have absolutely every right to feel animosity towards us Renans. Our own circumstances as the aggressors are irrelevant. I didn't expect the former Lord of Menencia to be so down about people reconciling. Menencia's fate was a stroke of good luck. There had been backlash over how it had been ruled, and I was blessed to have sympathizers among my ranks. Still, even now, there remain ardent dissidents. But things can still change if you have the right people to help lead the way. Isn't that what you hope to achieve on Lenigus, after this is all over? Indeed. I have fully accepted the burden of that responsibility. In that regard, I remain determined. On that note, I have something of a favor to ask of you, Alfin. Oh? What is it? I wish for you to serve as a mediator so that the Renans can live on Dana peaceably. As the one and only Blazing Sword, I suspect the Danans may listen to what you have to say when problems arise. And I take it that you'll be the one to represent the Renans? Yes. I realize that I'm asking quite a lot of you. However, the fact of the matter is that it will take time for Renans to re-enter Danan society without any bloodshed. That is why... <laughs> You're the same as ever, Dohalim. Is it too much? No, relax. You get so tense and formal when you're asking for a favor. Listen, there's no need for that. We're friends. <clears throat> you're too kind. I can see you were raised well. That's some high praise, Alfin. Then I'll ask once again, this time just as friends. Alfin, will you help me? You don't even need to ask. Of course I will. Thank you, my friend. So well, wholesome. It sounds like everyone's learning from their past and using it to create a better future for everyone. What about you, Xion? How do you feel about the origin of the Renans? To be honest, I'm... I'm not really all that shocked, actually. I mean, I might be a Renan in the literal sense, but I've never really felt like one of them. Right now, it's... kind of a mystery. How do you mean? Because for a really, really long time, all I ever thought about was how I was going to die. Not if or when, but how. I thought I'd die alone. That fate had me in its steely grip. 
I would have never imagined that I'd be traveling with someone like you, fighting to save Rena and Dana. I mean, how could I have? It's been going on for 300 years. All this tragedy and destruction. When you consider the Helganquil's part in all this, it's been even longer than that. It was Naori's hope that somehow, someone in the future would be able to stop it before it was too late. How it fell on us, of all people, to heed that call is a mystery. I don't think Naori was hoping that we would just stop the world from getting destroyed. She considered me, a Danon, as a real person. And she very much cherished her own people, too. I don't think she wanted the world to be saved just so they could go back to hurting each other. Oh, maybe this is what she meant. Huh? When we were talking to Kisara earlier, about all that stuff like everyone's needing to meet halfway and embrace each other's pain and suffering, she said that the first step down that path was for each of us to put aside our own hatred. That means forgiving other people. Even and especially before they forgive you. Forgiving. So it goes both ways, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I don't just mean forgiving things that happened in the past, either. Conflicts will keep happening. If we have any hope of moving on and building a better future, we have to all learn to forgive each other. You know, you're right. People can hurt one another, without even meaning to. I know that better than most, thanks to these thorns. It's not going to be easy getting past this pain. But if we can do it, I'm sure there'll come a time when we can all truly understand each other. I'm there with you, Shion. I too want to protect the world we live in, and all the people we care about. I think that's the very least I can do to repay Naori for everything that she did. Yeah. I want a future that she would feel proud to live in, and I'm going to fight for it. Whoa there, Savior Girl. We're here to save you too, you know. Yes, I know. <sighs> Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. I want to live, and that's the honest truth. Okay, so that was six well, skits in a row. Is everybody ready to do what needs to be done? I went from a cutscene to six I skits am. to another cutscene. Think about, but at the end of the day, Dan is still in danger. I don't care who we're up against. We'll kick their ass. What are your thoughts, Alfin? I want to know what's on your mind too. Like Law said, if we have to fight the Great Spirit on Rena, then so be it. It's trying to rob us of our entire world. And it's going to take not just our home, but all of existence along with it. That alone is enough to make it our enemy. But it's not only that. One way or another, I think beating the Great Spirit is going to be tied to us saving Xion. You're saying there's a chance? You're referring to the vision of destruction we all saw in Lenigus, I take it? Yeah. Three centuries ago, the astral energy that appeared at the spirit channeling ceremony showed Naori that vision. And to hear Xion tell it, it's the same one that she sees from her own thorns as well. Indeed. Xion's thorns are comprised of dark astral energy. The one type which we know is native only to Rena. And if Rena's great spirit is what's behind Dana's pending destruction, then... Xion's thorns are the great spirit? Oh my God. It's not actually on Rena like we thought? We don't know anything for certain. At the very least, though, I think it's possible her thorns are a part of the great spirit. While the main body resides in Rena. Shion. If these thorns really are a part of Rena's great spirit, I'm going to go over there and give it a piece of my mind and then some.
The question is, how do we confront it? Suffice it to say, that flower growing out of Rena is enormous, large enough to house the will of an entire planet. The Wedge and Lenigus were both hard enough for us to overcome in their own right. This is an altogether greater challenge for merely six. The Spirit Bomb! And we only know about the Thorn's connection thanks to Naori. Connect the power of the people into a giant bomb, throw it at the Rena, and destroy. has been observing the great astral spirit this whole time. It wouldn't ask us to fight it unless it has a plan of some sort. Let's go oh see my. what that is. Well, of course I have to go talk to him, but why do I have to go talk to him? I don't want to go talk to him. I don't want to talk to anybody. I really, really would just like to play the game. Our God minds are made up. Let's go game. give Hebrick 35 our answer. Fuck! No more skits. I'm done clicking the right bumper. Do you have your answer for me? We want to ask something first. You're asking us to fight an entire planet. How exactly do you expect us to do that? You must have something up your sleeve, or else you wouldn't put us up to it. The great astral spirit is an immense being, but its actual will does not run throughout its entire body. Rather, its will is derived from the core, which supports the rest of the body, and is where its strength is most densely concentrated. Therefore, if you destroy the core, the Great Spirit shall become unable to maintain sentience and return to being ordinary astral energy. And how are we supposed to destroy that core? Ram it! By using the Renus Alma. <sighs> you will also need the assistance of both the Sovereign and the Maiden. They are our best tools for suppressing and controlling astral energy. Using their powers, the Maiden shall seal the great astral spirit within her body, and the Sovereign shall wield the power of the Renus Alma to destroy it. Hold on. That sounds a lot like what Xion described before. Yeah, killing herself to take out the thorns with her. She was actually right all along. By my calculations, your powers combined By should our be powers sufficient combined. to destroy the great astral spirit and disperse its energy widely enough to make it difficult to reform. What will happen to the Maiden once we manage to beat the Great Astral Spirit? Any matter contained within the Field of Destruction shall be erased. It said so invariably. It really will kill me. This method is the most simple one available to destroy the Great Spirit, and is therefore our most reliable option. What about the other what unreliable other options? Yeah. There is little reason to consider alternative courses of action when the most optimal among them is so clear. You don't get it. I promised Xion that she wouldn't die. That we'd save the world without needing to sacrifice her. We didn't fight this whole time just to give up on her at the very end. If there's any other way to take out the Great Spirit, I want to hear it. This plan shall lead to the fewest losses in preserving your world. Abandoning it is irrational. That's... It is vital that you proceed with this plan. A part of Rena's great astral spirit already resides within her. <sighs> 300 years ago, the great spirit descended upon Lenigus in an attempt to assume direct control of the spirit channeling ceremony. Ah, uh, that's why. We have why. reason to believe the great spirit left part of itself behind and that it now resides in the maiden. Okay. Which would make Alfred's earlier hypothesis correct. That part inside the Maiden belongs to the core and can be used by the great astral spirit to revive itself. So long as it remains, it will be all but impossible to fully eradicate the great spirit. Yes, it is cell. That is why it is necessary for it to be vanquished only once it is whole. Without the Maiden's direct control over the great spirit, attacking it is futile and will only serve to strengthen it. No. It's probably a good decision, Eptos. Wait. 
Naori said that the Renis Alma can suppress the self-realization of astral energy, and that the thorns could be neutralized by placing them in it. You have if a great so, evening, bud. Can't the same also be done to the Great Spirit, seeing as the thorns are simply part of it? Well, can it? It is true that the Renis Alma is capable of what you suggest, and could contain the Great Astral Spirit. Yes! However, doing so requires fine control on the level of the spirit channeling ceremony. Considering that the Renis Alma was previously lost when that ceremony failed, I cannot allow it. Its uncertainty is simply too great. What does that mean for us if you won't allow it? Your starship will not be restored, and you will all be unable to leave here. Why you? <sighs> Fine then. I'd rather stay here and rot than do it your way. Alfin? Whatever we do, if we mess up, Dana's screwed. The Great Spirit will destroy it. If you're fine letting that happen, and we have nothing to gain either way, then I'd rather do nothing. We want to stop Dana from getting destroyed. We want to save it. But not if it means having to sacrifice one of us in the process. If all you're gonna do is sit back and watch us where it's safe, then quit ordering us around and shut up! Yeah. Alfin. What you say is irrational. Be that as it may, I shall accede to your demand. You'll agree? I am an observer. The Sovereign, Maiden, and Renis Alma are my species' greatest achievement. I wish to see how well they work against the Great Spirit in light of our demise by its hands. But what are we supposed to do about the Renis Alma? One of your buddies ran off with it back on Lenigus. It is likely that the Renis Alma is with the Great Spirit, functioning as a catalyst for it to receive Dana's astral energy. So our only option to retrieve it is to head straight for the Great Spirit and take it back? According to my observations, the astral energy is most densely concentrated in the center of Rena, where the Great Spirit's core is located. So right in the middle of that giant flower, then. I have one more question. You've said that Rena's great astral spirit is already integrated with the planet. What will happen to Rena once it vanishes? Without the will of the Great Spirit, Rena is predicted to collapse. Even in such a scenario, the energy will disperse, and the Great Spirit will likely not reform. So you're saying that even if we manage to beat the Great Spirit without destroying it, we'll still be in danger? Likely, the collapse will occur in stages. It is recommended that you all escape before the final stage. Man... I wish that thing would tell it to us straight for once. Havrek 35 and the others have gotten used to hypothesizing from afar is all. Fix our starship. We're going to Rena. Excellent. But I want to make one thing clear. We're doing this for ourselves, to protect what matters to us. We're not doing it for your sake, or because you told us cool, to. Cool, get the fuck out of the spaceship. Remember that. It matters little to me. The end result shall be the same. Repair work on your starship has commenced. You'll have to wait until it's finished. Next question. Man, is it too much to ask for Hever 35 to talk like a normal person? I swear I can feel my brain starting to fry after listening to all that complicated stuff. Don't worry. I think we're mostly done with him. Now all we have to do is rest up and wait. Once the Fall Nights is good to go again, we'll be taking off for Rena right away. Next question. Those stupid red women, they teleported us, correct? Did they literally, is it pure happenstance that we ended up next to this or close enough to the spaceship to get tractored in? I have been wondering about that for a little bit now. Is that some deus ex machina shit? No, no, I can't. I... Uh, 
amazing. I'm done. I have to recharge the batteries. Oh my fucking god. I, I can't go anymore today. Uh, yeah, I. that's what I mean by recharge batteries. I have to... I need a break from the game. Take your coin now. <laughs> Here you go, bud. Just one fucking coin for you. You know what? <laughs> I should... I really should have. I should have made a prediction. But you can take your fucking coin. I should have made a prediction. You would have won it. Fuck me, dude. This... I... I don't... I have done... No, what did I do? Two fights today? One normal... Three fights? No, two. Because I did one normal fight and a boss fight. And it was probably seven minutes. So it's been two and a half hours of just talking nonstop. And the stream before that was probably about two and a half hours talking nonstop. I don't know what I'm going to stream to replace World of Goo, but I desperately need something. I don't know what it'll be, but we'll figure it out together. I'm done for the day. Go enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm going to enjoy, I don't know, food, I guess. Thank you for watching, really. This is, find big dumb action game, yep. If it brings you comfort, they gave me white race instead of fried today. I want everyone to be happy rather than everyone to suffer. <laughs> That's what I would like. But yeah, uh, I'll find a big, fun, stupid thing to play. And I'll probably do it tomorrow, though. Tomorrow, maybe I don't, I don't fucking know anything. Congratulations. Goodbye, friend.